Hello guys, it is iShibiInu519 and I got another mod video. Sorry, I've been gone for so long. So today's mod is going to be a world edit. And a world edit is basically just an add-on to single player commands. So here's how I'll show you how to do it. You want to type slash slash wand. And it gives you the wooden axe, which is basically just the tool for world edit. And... I'm just going to show off how to do some stuff with it. So, here's what I'll do first. I'll show you how to make a wall with it. So you want to just build like a little tower. Then left click to set the first position. I'm going to take this. Just walk over. Move cow. And set the second position. Then you'll tag whatever block you want it to be. Slash slash set. And the data value of stone, which is 0, 01. And then there I have made a 179 block wall. 56. Um, I wouldn't touch that. Alright. And now, replacement. This is something slightly different, but I'll show you. So black replacement is rather interesting. I really like it, actually, because it allows you to just change one specific block type. All right, so this might be a slightly tricky part. Alright, so now that I've got that there, I'm going to start my first position. I'm going to go all the way down here. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace this cobblestone here with diamond blocks. So I'm going to do slash slash replace 04 with 57. And there we go, that is pretty now. And also, I could do slash slash replace 20 with ice. Oh crap, with the glowstone, that's not going to be good. Uh, and if you ever want to undo something because you did it by accident, just do slash slash undo. I just feel like replacing all the glowstone with diamond blocks. Oops. And if you want to redo it, do slash redo. Alright. And also, there's another cool one. I think it's this. You type slash forest gen, it'll create a bunch of trees. And if you type that number, that's the number of trees that will be spawned. Dang it. Now, I guess that doesn't work. Oops. Also, with world edit, here's a cool thing I did. Oh, and this is also a custom map titled Castle Lividius. It's a really cool custom map. I'll give you the link to it in the Minecraft forums. So here's what I did with World Edit. I made the ocean much, much deeper. I could show you how to do that. Oh dear. I'm just sinking to the bottom at a rather slow rate. I can find my underwater house that I built. You guys probably can't see a thing, I'm sorry. Oops. Where's glowstone? Oh man, I don't see it. 
As you can see, I made it much deeper. All right, I'm going to show you how to make a huge hole to the bedrock if you want. Actually, wait, no, that's not a good idea. I can show you how to remove bedrock with World Edit. It's rather simple. So say a griefer comes by and puts a bunch of bedrock everywhere. Here's the bad news. You can't break bedrock. So what you have to do, really easy. Slash slash replace 0700. And there we go. So if you want to install this for your server, that's an easy way to get rid of griefer damage with Bedrock. I know, because I have not my server. Well, it's not my server, it's a friend's server. Um, sun. Another cool thing you can do with World Edit. Not sure how to do this. Slash spear 30. Oh. I'm not quite sure how to do this. Oh, okay. Go do it over here. Alright. Slash slash sphere. A one. And let's just do ten. Oh dear, I'm stuck in it. I am stuck in it. Get me out of here. Oh no. Oh, there we go. And there we go. So I have generated a spear out of stone that I almost died in. So yeah, guys, that's most of the basics for World Edit. I could do a more advanced World Edit tutorial in the future. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Minecraft, and I will see you guys next time.